95. All right, guys. Welcome back to episode 84 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly low-key. Got John here with me. Got Jay over here. Remy being a piece of shit like always. We're back with another one. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for doing that. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. If you haven't done so already, thank you for those that have. Welcome back to another one. How y'all feeling today, boys? Marvelous. Marvelous. I'm feeling wonderful. Wonderful. It's wonderful. awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful Sunday. Oh, That's wow. awesome, man. Wow. Everybody's okay. feeling marvelous. Everybody's feeling wonderful. Yeah, yeah. We hope you guys are feeling the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're back with another one. Yeah. Roll your blunt, roll yeah. your J, pack your bomb, pack your bowl, all that good shit, man. Mm-hmm. Get your dad big ready. Fucking pop Pull your out. edibles. Pull out your meth pipe. Yeah. What? Whatever, <laughs> whatever you're trying to fucking do. Whatever, yeah. you, whatever, whatever you gotta you do. do for the day. Yeah, whatever you but want. Listen here, man. Getting back into uh into the swing of things, guys. I, I, it's crazy how like sometimes I just take a, me- a social media break, right? And it's, I feel like it's absolutely needed. You know what I'm saying? It's absolutely needed to take social media breaks from everything. The, the only thing I personally got is Instagram anyway. But even that, bro, there's days where it's like I don't really want to be on this shit like that. Yeah, because. It gets to you, bro. It gets to you. It affects you in different ways. It, it makes you feel like the world is a certain way when it's really not. People are living a certain way when they're really not. Yeah. And it got me thinking, like, <clears throat> everything that goes up must come down, right? So yeah. I'm wondering what the fuck the world is going to be like after social media. Like, when something else replaces social media. Like, what's what are people going to be, you know what I'm saying? What's the, like. Yeah, what's the next step to this, like? You know, is it going to be like virtual reality where we come into a, a different realm and we all talk shit and then we can't get in trouble for what we do in that world? And then, you know, like, it's crazy. Like, yeah, that's, like that's some deep. GTA shit or yeah, something. Like, you know what? That's kind of crazy. I'm kind of digging that, but I feel like, to be honest, fuck social media. It does. It's <laughs> yeah. all smoke and mirrors. And people are like, you know, you've seen the studies now. It makes people so fucking depressed. You know what I'm saying? Because you wake up in your shitty apartment and your shitty fucking life. And then you look at fucking other people's lives and they're so great, supposedly, and the relationships are so great, right? But then there was these travel vloggers recently I seen, and like they had this vlog where they lived the van life and did all that. And then like they obviously build a huge following, people grow with that couple. And then like the dude left her after the quarantine shit. He's like, oh, after being locked together, we see that we're not compatible. She yeah, killed herself. That's crazy. That's bro. fucking oh, nuts. Rest in peace yeah, to her. But listen, man, him. ultimately, bro, it's like, I think that happened with a lot of people. I think this quarantine but shit. But if you look at their social media, together, they look so yeah, happy. Yeah. You would never think. You're like, oh, man, this couple's solid. Because I saw their page. I'm like, damn, you would have. If it was according Bro. to their social media, I would have never thought they would have had a problem. You know what I mean? That's, Which how, is that's how most yeah. social medias are, bro. They that's be, how most social medias are. They be speaking and like, you ever see people on like social media where they like, they they record themselves or they're like, yeah, you know, like I saw this post the other day and I'm not going to say no names, no names, but I saw a post and he's just like, man, I'm fucking happy, man, I'm fucking happy, you know? And I feel like, People do that all the time. Like, oh, I'm fucking happy. But realistically, they, it's just like a psychological <laughs> thing. You know how you would say like. Fake it till you make it. Yeah. If that's, if that's what you got to do to help yourself. Yeah. Like, like you happy know. Happy people don't fucking talk about how happy they are. And fucking rich people don't talk about how rich they are. Yeah. I understand you know like, like maybe like, oh, I'm blessed. Like I'm thankful. Like being thankful yeah, and shit. That's different. Facts. That's different. You know. But like just to be but like, you know, if you're not happy. Like, I don't know. Ultimately, bro, it's just. Guys, don't let social media fucking paint a picture for you that isn't real. Yeah. A lot of this social media shit is entertainment. It's just for the fucking likes. It's filters. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's straight bullshit, bro. Like, it's just straight. Strokes. It's straight bullshit. Mm-hmm. That's what people want. Yeah. That's how it is. People exchanging strokes. Good strokes. You know, let me like, 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 like. But then as soon as you reach 100 likes and now it's been three days without a like, you're starting to feel a little depressed, yeah, unsure like, about yeah, yourself. You, you change the way you take your pitch. Yeah. You, know, you fucking start. It's like, bro. Because if because you get hooked on that. And it's just like, guys, be a, a free thinker. Man, free listen, free socialize in real life. And, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Take care of the people that take care of you. Like Stay six feet apart, though. Yeah, no, for sure. Quarantine. 600 feet. Quarantine. 600 feet is it? I thought it was 600. Hey, bro. <laughs> yeah, are you aware how far 600 feet is? I'm just it's wondering. 600, bitch, you might as well get your ass across the fucking yeah. street. Imagine 600 feet. That would be ridiculous. I mean, nobody could do anything. The lines would be forever. Forever. 
You know what I think? <laughs> I, I wouldn't put it past them. them. I wouldn't put it past them. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't either. It's getting crazy. You remember it's when? Around. You remember when facial recognition and and all this other shit and chips and all this other bullshit was a conspiracy theory? Yeah, me too. I know, right? That's yeah. true. <laughs> I posted They're that. They're gonna try to implant chips at us. They would never fucking do that, Sally. Yeah, they'll never do it. It's the government. They care about us. Nah. Why would they harm us? Why? Nah, but they, there's people out there like the character Red Foreman. You ever seen the, that '70s show? Oh, there's a guy yeah, on there where he's yeah. like, he's like, if America wants to fucking put a tracking device up your ass, you say thank you and God <laughs> bless America. <Yeah. laughs> and that's how, that's uh, exact. No, that has, that's exactly yeah. how a lot of people would fucking be. Where yeah. They're like, if this is for the better of the fucking country, country we're so big. Put it on my ass. Yeah. I'll put it right on my fucking ass. <laughs> nah, that's crazy, man. Nah, I you want never. people to do it? Just take it in a vape. Stick it in the vape part. People don't ask questions yeah, when it comes fact. to the vape. <laughs> they just, you want to kill people? Vape for food. Any yeah. fast food. That's Any it. Any fast food. And then they're like, oh, they ran out of the vaccine. Like, they're trying to make it seem like, oh, yeah, we ran out. Like, shut the fuck up. Man, you never. Y'all mean. never. Yo, y'all still have no, it. No, no, You stop fucking putting Guys, it out. because what niggas to the was coming, <laughs> Niggas was coming back with fucked up fucking What happened ligaments? to the flu, though? Ever since coronavirus came? Or I shouldn't have said that. I'm going to have to bleep that out so we don't get this shit. Yeah, yeah, now. we can't say the words. Yeah. We can't say the But ever the, since the this keywords. shit came in, the flu disappeared. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah, like it There's no flu shots anymore at the pharmacy. Now it's coronavirus. Basically. Yeah, there's no there's no more flu. Everything bleep, else bleep, is bleep, gone. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Fuck you. Can't <laughs> run us. Next topic, bitch. Yeah. No, I was kidding. <laughs> fucking assholes. Fuck nah, those guys. Nah, guys. What's your, opinion, what's your opinion on fucking... Being book smart, or being street smart. What do you think is more valuable to the to real life? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a good question. But you know what I think about that? I think that ah, in my book, I just feel like uh, as far as survival comes, I need street smarts. Yeah, that's yeah. like survival. Like if yeah. shit went to like hell, and like you're not gonna be able smart. to know what to do. Like you can Kevin learn would how to make fucked. money. <laughs> you can learn how to. You know what I mean? Yeah, nah, it's. I agree, man. Like, book smarts, it's, it's good to be educated. And Might not what, say you like know what though. you're talking about. <laughs> but, yeah, in a situation where your instincts have to come into play mm-hmm. and you got to be aware of your surroundings or something like that, like, you might be a fucking fish in a big gator's pond, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> a, big, a big gator, bitch. There's going to be a fucking dinosaurs, bitch. These motherfuckers out here trying to eat you one fucking time and one you're dead. One fucking bite, bitch. One bite. And you're gone. Just like that, bro. Now, but being book smart is important, too, because, I like... Think, yeah, of yeah, course. Like, of course. You got to educate yeah. yourself on certain things. Like, I feel like a balance between both is, is key. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because... Yeah. If you don't read books on crypto and this other shit that's going on and like you don't read up on like study what's going on in the in the world, yeah. then you're gonna fall behind. But so if you gotta I stay educated. Like, yeah. I choose with street yeah. smarts first and then work my of way into course. books. It's like, it's like that prisoner. That prisoner that got locked up, right? But then freed himself out for being book smart. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Like yo, Freeway Ricky. Hey, yo, listen, yeah. man. Round of applause yeah. Yeah. to Shout Freeway out, Ricky. This man went to <laughs> prison. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Listen to this story, bro. This man went to prison, bro. His plug snitched on him. <laughs> How the fuck does that happen? I don't His understand. His plug snitched what on him. Though, and when he went to prison, he had a life sentence. Didn't know how to read. He spent years fucking learning how to read, educated himself to the point, bro, where he found a loophole and got himself out white of prison. Dude? White dude? No, a black dude. Oh, wait. A black dude? You mean a black dude who's oppressed and he, was, <laughs> he learned this in prison and in yeah, changed his life? Crazy. Yeah, and what? No, yeah, this bro. This is insane. You gotta yeah. apply yourself. Shout yeah. out to him. Shout out to you. Anything's possible. Yeah. I don't want to fucking hear no excuses. Fuck you. He and went to excuses. prison not knowing how to breathe, bro. Or write and learned. Went to the library every day, bro. Learned and got himself out of prison. Shout out to that man. That's come on. No, like, that's, really? What's the excuse at this street? point? But you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's applying. No it's yeah. applying yourself and not applying yourself. Yes. Ultimately, that's what it comes down. Do you to. want easy shit? You can make easy money all day. Anybody hey, can go make easy money. But guess what, bro? A lot of people. He was in a situation where a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, would do that. Yeah. I think that that's what it would take for a lot of people to be like, yo, I really got to do this now. Because it's like, bro, if you don't, you're going to spend, you're going to die in that cell. Yeah. So yeah. you either going to fucking will do to it live. or you're not. Bro, they yeah, put will to live, facts. Bro. Like, yeah, like, yo, I got a whole life, bro. Yeah, like, bro. Now, they're, now they're starting to take out certain that. books. They're starting to take out certain books out of prisons because people are starting to do that shit for real. Bro, because like the knowledge. system wants to keep people dumbed down. You know why, bro? Because these private prisons bring in so much money, it's not even funny, dog. I'm going to open one up. Straight up, I mean, now, these private up. prisons like they got to keep them 
to a certain level of capacity. Like they got they got to keep them to a certain level. Of I don't want these fuckers full. getting too smart on me. I don't want these fuckers rioting and turning this shit into a yeah, fucking. Yeah, bro. You or seen I don't videos? want these niggas spreading knowledge and getting fucking half of these guys out of here before they're supposed to. Yeah, and us not bread. getting our check. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah, the longer they're there, the more they get paid. That's probably you know what I'm saying. I'm like, telling you, man, that's crazy. Of course, that's wild. You get paid. They get paid per day. Do you believe that some prisoners, right? You know how they say, like, okay, prison, blah blah blah. They need to send people into prison. They need to learn their lesson. But do you believe some people can't be rehabilitated? Yes, I believe that I believe. there are people that, yeah. that it doesn't matter what you really do. There's just something that's wired different within the way of thinking. And, and it's just like, like, how do you decipher though? You see, because they say like, oh, people just have a second chance. Just, some people Who do, do you know. I mean, honestly, you don't. And you that's seen those the, niggas get out the, and kill people like they got released yeah. and boom, twenty four hours. But then there's niggas that get out and do great. They change things. their life, yeah. They do Start great businesses things. and shit. Yeah. And honestly, it might be I don't know, I don't know, bro. We we need to do the numbers on that. Probably that's crazy though, right? Because I I feel like. I would hope that it's more people doing good, yeah. but it's not. It's not because no, it, if you look, yeah. if you look at it, most of most of the guys that've been to prison go back. Yeah, right? yeah. most. And of that's them. sad to say, but it's they true. know the guards and shit. You seen those shows? They be coming in like, yo. When I went the one time, that's sad. As soon as bro. I went in there, they're like, hey, Bobby, what are you doing? Back. <laughs> I just saw you. I a thought month you ago. said you weren't you coming back. back. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah, friends, like some of them be friends for like twenty years because you you know they've been locked up for twenty bro, fucking they years. Know people in jail, they go back in there. They're all in like the first pod I went into. Everybody knew each other. Like I came in with a crew of people and off the truck, and then. They came in there. Oh, what's up? What's up? I'm just like, not talking to nobody. They all knew each other. <laughs> Facts. What are you in here for? What'd you do? I was just like, I'm not here to make friends no, with no, nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no. I'm here because I killed the fish. None of your fucking business. <laughs> I fucking you. stabbed my goldfish in the fucking face. Don't ever complain about me <laughs> nah. not feeding you. People go to jail for that, for animals, for hey, like poaching. Peter, don't shit. come after us, uh, You Peter. can't kill a goldfish? No, 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 no. There's certain things like, you know, certain fish in the ocean. You, you can't, can't kill like, a goldfish. Don't tell that to the county fed. Ooh. They fucking give mm. them away for free. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they leave them in the fucking bag, you fucking piece of Yo, shit. Yo, remember when we were talking about PETA that one episode? Yeah. I watched an ad yesterday that interrupted me in the middle of entertaining myself on YouTube, right? It, was like, up, bro. it sounded like a little kid screaming. And then all of a sudden it's like, rah, rah. and I'm like, what's going on? And this is pulling at my heartstrings. And then the music's hitting, <laughs> and then the text comes up, and it's like, this is a white barn owl at Hop John Hopkins University <laughs> being tortured, <laughs> and they're implanting a fucking chip into his what head, the and this is, is the sound on? that it's making. This is his address? Was, this is where he stays? No, this is where he sleeps? And, <laughs> and this is where he was born. This I signed is the, the branch petition. that they found him. I signed the petition. They're like, every time they do this experiment, they were trying brain chips on him, and they're like, they die. They're like, after this experiment, and you hear the, the owl screaming. Like, you could tell it's in distress hard, bro. And I I was like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm signing this petition. Yeah, me too. And I went over there and I signed it. Yeah, Round I'm of signing applause. It. I'm signing it. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking J. Yeah. Thank you. And Shut hey, that light up. listen, you know, he, he did a great thing because I'll tell you what. That's fucked up. That yeah, is fucked up. When I heard that's that, that's fucked up. It yeah, kind of yeah, hurt yeah. my heart. I don't like that, man. And there's a lot of companies that are testing on animals, like for Stop like, it. and it's like ridiculous. Test like, on pedophiles, it's sad, bro. And it, we're talking shit right now. And guess what? There's probably products in this house that have been tested on animals because oh, I'm not, you know, and I'm not really 100. percent Shout sure. out to you, White Owl. <laughs> But I'm gonna tell you what, like seriously, white owl man, fuck you guys. Fuck everybody. Yeah. They don't test these. What? John, everybody knows owls don't smoke white owls. Oh, what do they smoke? Swishers. No, they, and they lick Swishers. a lot of lollipops too. Remember the commercial? Ooh, they lick a lot of lollipops. Nah, I didn't yeah. motherfucker a bit that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did because nobody could ever figure he out said, how many licks. He said two licks, and I'm fucking they diving him. head first. You sound like John now. You sound like. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking what yo i'm never yo i got so much fucking feedback from that comment because i was really meeting him i was just meeting uh, hey we're hey, gonna leave that at that i'm out of here guys i'm out of here find out on the next episode yeah, yeah man it's whack like fucking dragon ball z y'all mm. remember the back in the day bro when dragon ball z that a nigga be charging up for like two whole episodes and you're like yo, yo when the fuck is this nigga gonna swing dog yo i didn't yeah. watch that when i was young my brother-in-law shout out to tito he put me on yeah bro and andrew andrew too he's a shout fan. out to y'all man but shout i never shout really out. got into it until i got older i was like damn that shit's pretty cool it was cool but nah there was some episodes where it was like bro like but 35 minutes of a nigga just ah. charging up and screaming <laughs> <laughs> 
and then you got your kids doing that shit in the house. Facts. And then I walk out of my room like, oh, coming to my kids. You're like, what's going on? And he's like, nothing. I was powering up. I'm Goku. Like, nah, stop screaming. Like, yo, you scream You're like not. that again, nigga. You're grounded. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, man, round of applause. Yeah. Round of applause to Caitlyn Jenner, right? Caitlyn Jenner, shout they out ran to you, up. bad bitch. Yeah, Caitlyn, you bad. They ran up on her. <laughs> <laughs> they ran up on her, right? And they asked her, they're like, listen, how do you feel about transgender females, meaning males that transcended to females, competing in female sports? What'd she say? <gasps> she said, it's unfair and it's wrong. And you it shouldn't be going on. Get another another one. One. Oh, 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 Hey, listen, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're, 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 yeah. Yo, yeah. That's for you, oh, Caitlyn. That's for you. You a bad bitch. Yeah, you a bad bitch. You a bad bitch. Hey, you, you a bad, bad bitch. bitch. Hey, you a bad bitch. Yo, shout no, out listen, to you. Shout out to you, Fro, because I completely real. agree. She would know. You know, she would know. At one point, she was, you know, she was one of the best fucking athletes in the world in the Olympics and shit, so... Round of applause. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I want, honest. You got to get flowers where flowers is due. And I got you know flowers for you. Ooh. Like, what can you Boss. say? Like, oh, she doesn't know. I like that, yeah. that shit was amazing. She doesn't. Oh, like, you know, people. Oh, she doesn't know how to be a fucking, uh, you know, some people don't have backgrounds like her. You know what I mean? She actually fucking did it. She was no, in no, the Olympics. Like, no, no, you know bro. what I mean? It's like it. And she was a man. Yeah, she was a Fact. fucking man. She was a like, man at one mean? point, And he was one of the greatest fucking athletes at that point in the world. I repeat to him. I mean, she, 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 <laughs> I mean, she's still a man, but you know, whatever. I mean, bad bitch. Yeah, yeah. You a yeah. bad bitch. Hey, <laughs> I was right, uh, right. I just was right. But listen, guys, yeah. something that you got, you can't ignore, right? There's a lot of red flags in life. There's red flags when you're talking to girls, and one of them is if she don't want to wear a condom. Throw her like, out. Throw her out. She belongs like, to the streets. Whoa, whoa. To me, I swear, bro, that's a, that like. That's a red flag. Yeah, if she's like, wait, 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 what? How many, how, how many of us are Eskimo how brothers? How many other men? How many of us are Eskimo to? brothers? <laughs> Eskimo brothers, can you explain that? Because I've Eskimo brothers I've never heard. We went to the same. Yeah. Oh, into right? the same uh, dirt pit. Yeah. Well, no, 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 like pit. igloo, igloo. You know igloo, it's like, cold yeah, down there. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, that it's taking it's many warm souls. When you get that inside, thing, though, you know, that thing's <laughs> taking many souls. It's fucking wild, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, bro, you can't ignore you can't ignore red flags like that. She belongs bro. to the streets because if she's telling you to hit without a condom, bro, there's just plenty others doing it too. Yeah, and it's like, listen, bro, yeah. hey, no fucking way. Guess I'm what? A, the, yeah, I'm gonna stick my schmeat stick in there. Mm. All right, yeah, all right, mm. I can't do it. You know what, man? Are you saying you know what man or are you you know what men? No, 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 no. <laughs> See, they're just trying to set me up again. Yo, <laughs> you, up. Yo, yeah, you guys are yeah, a lot of you. No, 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 I'm honest about my life and I like to party. I'll leave it at that. I like to party. <laughs> Take it as you will. I'm you like, like hottie at the party. Oh, uh, yeah. that was boss. You like, yeah. you like you know, a little. Yeah. You like Cardi B. I'm mm. like Cardi B. Mm. She give off the beat. I don't know. She's John's sucking on my bitch? meat. He's a bad bitch? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he <laughs> is. <laughs> she a bad bitch. Yeah, he is. Fuck out of here. How about uh, Gotham City? Oh, oh should bro, I say, listen, uh, man. New York yeah, City, Gotham, I mean. Gotham. Look, Gotham. there's a guy on YouTube. I can't remember his name right now. If not, I swear I'd shout you out. But I was watching a video from him. It was sometime last year. And he's from New York. And he was talking about how with this COVID going on and the stimulus checks and all this people out of work and all this shit going yeah. on. He's like, bro, New York is going to turn into Gotham City. And he was Oof. he said that shit last year. So round of applause to this fucking bro. guy. You know what the thing is? Because he predicted that shit. Yeah. Like, I swear, because that's literally what's going on right now. Bro. And who's like, going to be the superhero? And who's going to be the villain? <laughs> Maybe Elon I should Musk. go and Elon beauty. Musk. New York needs you. Yeah. Yo, yeah. New York, York needs you. Nah. He's the real Iron Man. Facts. Tony Stark. I think that yeah, is. Batman, get the fuck out of Gotham. Yeah. Yo, Batman, is, get up. No, I'm just I love you, Batman. Yo, that's true, though. <laughs> I like Joker better, though. Yo, that's true. The next Tony Stark, bro. The next Tony Stark is, is Elon Musk. The Yo, next, let's talk about the Elon real Musk. Tony the Stark. real Tony Stark, Stark. yeah. Yo, uh, yeah. Elon needs to sponsor us. Tesla, come on. We talk about you every man, we episode. Talk, we do, man, but listen. Yeah, shout out you. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah, you bro. Do, and you fuck do you to everybody in New York that's doing crazy shit. Why can't people just come together and help each other out? Instead, we got to fucking turn into these savages and start 
killing and shooting each other in the middle of the street at two o'clock in the afternoon. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, make Listen, it two in the bro, morning. Do it when I'm sleeping. I'm not super religious, man, but I'm spiritual, and I feel like it's a spiritual warfare going on right now. It like is. for real, like there's just different energy out here right now. And certain big dick energy. Yeah, <laughs> certain people can't handle the big dick energy. You know what I'm saying? That's what nice. it is. So you they can. wild out. In Florida, we keep things safe. You know why Florida's chill? Because everybody knows that everybody's got a gun. And 70% of the population is retired. They're yeah. not trying to fucking deal with you. Yeah, they're, they're on the way to go fish. Shout out they to know all you smoke of some weed. Or they're just fucking falling asleep on their front porch. You know how many people I drive by and they're just like older, they're asleep? Like cops are just not Just sleep on the front porch But yeah. you know that's a good Chilling. community Cause like, you'll never do and that you like know cops. that they're retired And don't give a fuck About what's going Kill on Kill me I lived already <laughs> hey. I lived Cops are not surprised Like when you get pulled over And you know They see a joint on the fucking floor Or a little fucking a little roach They're just not surprised We're in Florida Like we're, we're, we're fucking cowboys out here like at, at, like at the end of the day We're all cowboys yeah, nah, We do whatever the fuck Florida's we want Florida's different like, man Like Florida's different Florida's like, different Let me tell you something I used to live in New York and shout out to all my people in New York, but we know that it's a fucking shithole. Damn. Damn. I'm sorry. I've never been. So I've never, never been. I went, I went to Jersey. Hole. Jersey had nice yeah. parts, but it had, it had bad parts. Too. Really? I prefer Florida. <laughs> Guess what? I like, I like to be American. Yeah. No, the, I, and this, I, yeah. This, to me, bro, American. I don't know what it is. There's something about the South. The South. I, I love the South. Yeah, the South is just... We like, just got that hospitality. The South is shout better out to than the, the North. North. Yeah, shout out to the yeah. South. Round of applause to the, to the South. South. Yeah. Round of applause to the North, too. The North. The North. The North side. The North. The North. Shout out shout to the North side, too. But yeah. nah, this hey. is... For me, bro, it's just something about Florida, bro. I've been all up and down the East Coast. I've never been Midwest or out West. But I've been all up and down the East Coast. I've been to Canada. And for real? Yeah. That shit was dope? Yes. Shout out to Toronto. Yeah, I've been to Canada. I used to get, I don't know now, because now I heard there's some crazy stuff happening in Canada. Some laws coming in. And- yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard yeah. about that shit. I didn't but I don't used know to too be. much about it, but. You could, yo, you could turn up over there. So what happened in New York? Yeah, it's a shithole. No, but listen. Round of applause again <laughs> to New York. The no. The no. The no. They literally legalized, or, yeah, legalized prostitution. Damn. What was that? Was that, that was, Remy? That's Remy. He's fucking Remy crying was at the door. He <laughs> sounds like prostitution right now. <laughs> he was a nine. I don't he know if you heard that. He, got, he wasn't was crying. Was he was Remy, dying. I'm I thought sorry, you said Bobby. that and John farted over no, here. No, I no, just no. Said, <laughs> no I saw your face. Yo, everybody's face was he like. He got excited. <laughs> nah, he's croaking. No, he's croaking. He heard yeah. prostitution. He was like, mm? He's like, oh, finally. I'm going to do fuck. How much extra to choke you? He's at the door right now. He's crying. I forgot. I locked him out, guys. I'm sorry. Nah, but listen. Listen, $20 round of applause extra. in New York. Yeah. Number one, number one, man. Uh, look, bro, you can't tell a woman what the fuck to sell and what not to sell. My body, my choice. If she wants to sell a pussy, let her sell it. Guys right. sell That's just my fucking opinion, okay? And if a man wants to buy some pussy, you can't fucking lock him up for it. <laughs> no, bro. Like, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. This what is a fuck? fucking mutual agreement. Let's this go to a, Amsterdam. Like, now they could pull, fucking pull out contracts and shit like that because it's legal. You know Sign what I'm saying? Put it on the taxes. <laughs> put it on the taxes. No, you know? Stop it. <laughs> John's going to come through like, look, this is my own waiver here. This says here on line 3B that I'm going to pay you an extra $100 and you're going to let me choke and smack you. <laughs> I'll okay. beat you up. Sign <laughs> here. Tie you up oh, and you in the Oh, you're not going to sign here? Okay, get out, paper. get out of here. Out of better potties get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I got my briefcase and shit. Yeah, put I'm it on out. there. I'm out. Yep. Cheeks out. I come out in the out. fucking suit. <laughs> All you see is ass out, t-shirt on. No, no, no. Nah, bro, New York, man. Fucking New York, bro. It's, it's crazy. Like, Gotham City. It's turned into Gotham City, but at the same time, that's a little plus, yeah. you know? Kill People are getting kill. shot in the middle of the street, but... You yeah. can get a fucking top from a hooker for fucking without going to jail now. Yeah, so, facts. And, see get high, and get high legally. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. yeah, I can Ooh. smoke weed wow. and get top. That's you guys actually up. a double, that's a good double whammy. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is, it is. That's a positive double whammy. STDs and weed. That's, bro, that's, that's, I mean. What else could you ask for? What else can what, you fucking ask, ask for? I mean, that's I mean, a real part. I like to pee in pain. I don't know about you. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, ah. <laughs> I like to be in pain. No, I no, I'm my dog kidding. likes to sack on fire. Yeah, I like All my right. penis hole on fire this before I pee. Anyway. Like, 
He likes uh, his, uh, yeah. his nuggets spicy. Right? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. shit. <laughs> nah, nah, listen, man. Oven. There was a lot of fucking whack shit that we did back in the days, right, boys? One of them was uh, wearing gym shorts under your pants. Y'all remember that era? <laughs> that was around yeah. the doing that is like you were always ready to fucking ball or. Fight, fight. A, fight a motherfucker Either yeah. one Whatever comes I'll yeah. just drop my jeans Bitch Get these shorts out And we fucking bumping Yeah Dead ass That was a wild era Yeah it that was That looks stupid Baggy as fuck clothes too Dumb as fuck <laughs> Baggy clothes Dumb as fuck You could hide a whole goddamn AK-47 under your goddamn we, shirt We, we look like bags fighting bro We look bro. like bags <laughs> <laughs> Different color Empty bags. bags Empty <laughs> bags Cause we're fucking kids And scrawny as fuck And no. fucking the clothes Is Target three bags. times our size And shit we appreciate everybody that's hey, rocking, liking, sharing, hey. subscribing. Thank you for coming back. Tell somebody you love them. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We love you. Go down in the description. Get you some merch. And if you don't, fuck you. Yeah, man. You better. Nah, we still love nah, you. Better if you up. don't subscribe, though. Yeah, if you watch it and you're not thumbs up in or commenting, then you, bro, on, I might as well just kick you in the ass. And that's that. Point we, blank. That's what he said. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going. Okay. Yo, I got tiger bitch. Tiger bitch. She wanna be on my dick. I just wanna ride to sit. Oh, this guy. It comes out through his pores. It's what? just. It just. It comes out every episode a little wanna. bit more. Yeah, you, you see my nails? They're long. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. Wait, get the fuck out of here. See ya.